Hey guys, my name is Annabelle and I am here in my tiny house about to cook some lunch for myself and I don't have like a specific recipe, I was just gonna kind of make my lunch and maybe talk a little bit. Maybe it's not gonna be interesting, but it might be. You start with some tea because it is like 30 degrees in here and I have my heater but it doesn't do much because I can't use my wood stove right now, so it's a little chilly. Got some lavender chamomile tea. There we go. Gosh, that took a while. All good on the water. You will hear a little noise from the heater, so... Um, Apologies about that, but I just wanted to show you guys. So I got these new bags. There's two pieces of bread in here currently, but they are super thin cotton bags from Eco Bags. And um, basically, instead of putting your produce in plastic bags when you go to um, the grocery store or something, you put them in in these things and um, yeah you're saving saving plastic so that's super awesome right here as I have my sprouts that are in plastic <laughs> they come packaged already but I do have a sprouter which I plan to use but I didn't buy these myself someone else bought them or no they got them for free so um, that's why I have these sprouts right now, but I will be showing you guys some super cool sprouting stuff in the future when it gets a little warmer. So I was just going to make a tomato avocado uh, pea shoots and a little bit of yellow mustard sandwich and then combine the rest of the ingredients and just eat it as like a salad. Um, and I have two pears here to eat. Two. Something else that I wanted to say before I kind of just get started. I got these um, like canvas wax paper uh, covers that go over like bowls or you can just use that as a wrap instead of like wrapping a sandwich in plastic putting in a plastic bag you just wrap it in this paper um, it is so very cool and it's also another thing you can um, use to not use plastic to try to use less plastic um, it's it's really awesome and yeah I've been trying to use less plastic just in general because I don't know, I think as much as recycling is stressed, sh so should be the point of not having to recycle, just eliminating your use of the product that you would be recycling. I think sometimes being vegan we can get caught up in this idea that we don't have to do anything else. Animal agriculture causes the biggest effect on our environment and so Knowing that and being a vegan, I think sometimes you can get caught up in this feeling like we don't have to do anything else. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, I can, I can do more, I can, um, there's more things I can do out there. And especially since I'm gearing up toward making this documentary, um, yeah, I just feel like I need to be as uh, well educated in environmental issues and things that you can actually do on a daily basis that would help our environment and then larger things that you can do, various organizations that maybe um, might have programs or uh, I don't know, I just really want to put out some really awesome content and uh, In order to do that, I have, I, I feel I have to really know what I'm talking about and know um, 
how I can make an impact, basically. Yeah, I'm going to, I'll keep you posted, I'll make more videos about this, and it's also um, the general term for, I guess, working toward using less plastic and using just a lot yet less uh, disposable things would be uh, like living zero waste. And so I've known about it for a while and I do feel like I live a pretty low impact um, life and there's actually a a survey that I'll link below that you should totally check out. Um, I think the way that I live, I would need just over like 112%, so just over one planet if everyone that we know of in the world, the 7 billion people lived the way I did, we'd need just over a planet to live that way and so it's really um, it just makes you be more conscious about, you know, your actions and how they're affecting everyone else in the world to live, including animals and and uh, our ability to grow food, plants, that kind of stuff. So as well as the, uh, you know, trying to live with less waste. There's a, uh, I for a while have been trying to figure out how to grow your own food without using, a lot of people, what they use for fertilizer is um, cow manure, and so as a vegan, I don't necessarily really want to use that if I can, and so I've finally, I think, figured out um, what I need, so I've gotten this rock dust, um, I'll link that as well below, but it's super amazing and um, I've dried some uh, tomato seeds and so I'm going to be planting those later. And oh, now I forgot what I was saying but I know it's important. I'm just going to start picking up where I think I left off. Um, so I think you need more than just the compost to, um, not true. If you have super great compost and have a really great system down, which here we don't, we do compost everything, but the deer pretty much immediately eat it and we don't properly, you know, do the layers that you're supposed to. Um, so we need more than just the compost, but hopefully next year I'll have figured it out so that you don't need that. Anyway, I'm going to be mixing the compost with this rock dust stuff and I'm really hoping that that will create a awesome, uh, a really awesome soil that will be nutrient rich, will grow some tomato plants, so we'll see. Um, there's tons of time still because it's almost the end of February so I'm just trying to be a little proactive and since after I get back from Japan I will be home sort of for about two months um, which is a long stretch and that's right when it's you know time to start planning things so um, I'm excited to share that with you guys all too because you know growing your own food is also part of um, becoming more sustainable and environmental because we have a little bit of land here and so instead of just using it as grass you could you know plant food on it and feed yourself and feed other people maybe another thing to be more environmentally friendly is to bring your own um, set of uh, like bamboo or wooden utensils or even you know metal whatever but um, these are really nice I'm sure most of 
you guys who are into that kind of thing know about these uh, to go wear. It's really awesome. I, it comes with a spoon, uh, a fork, a knife, and chopsticks. So I have been trying more to take these when I go places. All right, so one more thing I wanted to show you all is, uh, right, whatever focuses. Okay, there's an app here called Time, and it is an amazing app. Basically, it has, um, you can go to yesterday, so I have all these tasks that I didn't do. Write a podcast cast script is one, for example. So I go down, I have, I'll tap on it, and then it starts counting down the time, and if you're, you finish before the time, you can just lower it. Um, and I'll just tap, because I'm paused, I'm not gonna do any more. And then if I want to add another one, I say, what do I want to do? Um, run. Go for a run. How long? Uh, 30 minutes. When? Uh, today. Done. So now it's added to my list. And then say I go for a run. I go run for, you know, 15 minutes or so. And then I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done running. So I just pull it all the way down, and then it checks it. So it is really awesome, and something that's cool at the bottom is that I have all these tasks, and it'll add up how much time it'll take to complete those tasks. And there's three tasks left today, and then if I were to start right now and accomplish all those tasks consecutively, how much time it would take to complete that or not how much time, that was before the total time, but the end time, um, what time it would be when I would be done. So I think this is just one of the coolest to-do apps. Um, and it's actually been successful. I switched between an app and just paper or not doing anything. And it's been the most successful to-do um, list creator and productivity manager, I would say, that I've um, had in a very long time. So I'm excited to have that. Something to do with the time really helps me, I think, manage it better. Seeing like when I could be done if I did this all right now. It's, uh, it's motivating for sure. If I sit down and eat downstairs, I'm going to freeze even worse than standing up just because it's so cold. Cool story about this towel. I'm sure you guys have seen this hanging here for a while. But this was the very first item I had. I think after I knew that I was building a tiny house. So I didn't even have the trailer. I saw these and really loved them and my mom got them for me. And it was just a really crazy, uh, I can still remember having this in my room and thinking like, wow, that's going to be in my house someday. And so that's just, it's a really cool reminder of, you know, how far I've come and and this space I've created, it's just really awesome. All right, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I've got my hot tea now, and uh, I'm just gonna have a little bit more salad. Um, have my astrology call today. I'm back doing that. I don't know what else there is to to share with you, but I'm sure I'll be making another video. Again, I do have a podcast now. Um, I have two podcasts out, and I've 
been slacking probably. I don't even know how long, it might have been a month since I posted my last one, but I have a bunch of topics ready to record, I just haven't uh, made the time to record them. So um, that will be coming in the future when I can't really make any promises right now. But yeah, you can check that out if you're interested. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see